Set our attention to John 4, John 4, 23 and 24. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Maori, kua waitata e teeni o kitaua orara. E aka mori e te metua, te aronga aka mori tikara Ma te wairua e te tuatua mo Ko te tuia o te tangata aka mori Ta te metua e ano nora E wairua te atua E te aronga e aka mori i aiara Ki aka mori ma te wairua e te tuatua mo ra E te kai I have chosen for our theme this morning Hallelujah, Jesus praises Jesus praises. Haronga aka pai Jesus karet karetu imoke Jesus Jesus irreplaceable. You cannot put any other beside or above. Jesus is the key. Hallelujah. Since September the eighth, twenty twenty two, almost the whole world has been mourning the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Britain's longest serving monarch who reigned as queen of the united kingdom and out of a total of 54 nations of the commonwealth which just simply means these countries have been under british rule since december 11 1931 of which many withdrew some years later that's the commonwealth 54 at the beginning the queen who died at 96 was immediately succeeded by the heir to the throne, her own eldest son, now already addressed as King Charles III. On September 9, September 9, 2022, King Charles III already announced only a day, hallelujah, after the passing. He already announced his very own eldest son, William, as the Prince of Wales. One who perhaps in due time would probably follow the same monarchical pathway at his da uh, dad's passing. We in the Cook Islands also has equally as interesting our own colorful chiefly or Ariki history in the lifeline of the Makea Karika tribe. Dame Margaret Karika Ariki O D B E Dame B E holder of the title for 68 years only two years short of the monarch of england from 1949 to 2017 and she passed at the age of 98 on september 22nd 2017 her eldest son george taripu automatically succeeded her as the new makir george karikariki on the 12th of december 2018 today very sadly and very unfortunately so very many stories of right and proper succession to the chiefly or sub chiefly traditional titles of the harikis of the uimata iapo and uirangatila are already in total shambles conflicts and confusions leaving many chiefly and sub chiefly titles for few or several years unsucceeded and unrepresented people of god the very same thing is happening in our christian church history 
Countless Christian church organizations and denominations have lost and forgotten the original history of when and where and how they first began or originated and deviated from the very original and core truth of the gospel salvation in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Very sadly and very unfortunately, many trace their history and existence back to their own foundations, faith. Whoever broke the gospel, build upon John Williams, build upon John Knox for the Presbyterian, build upon John Wesley for the Methodist, build upon Joseph Smith for the Latter-day Saints, build upon uh, Helen G. White for the Seventh-day Adventists, and tracing from where it first arrived to the Cook Islands, to this country, to that nation, and to that people. They forget about the original beginning in Acts 2 in the city of Jerusalem where all began. So we go back into those major Christian church establishments. Another time and Lord's will we get to show where and how we have all veered and deviated from the real truth founded only in the word of God which is our holy bible others have added bible of their own to the main holy bible that was accepted by 70 hebrew and greek uh, uh, scholars hallelujah they had set the certain criteria which could not be accepted any showing superstition any going uh, off course and off the line and not tracing one line from Genesis right through Revelation is false they discard and put it aside hallelujah rightly dividing joining the dot it matches prophetically historically and Christianly to the very end and the last scripture of Revelation hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. But for the meantime, let us stick to what the first Christian church in Jerusalem, Israel, will teach us today, as found in Acts 2. So we come to our text, where it says, But the hour cometh. This is Jesus. Now is that time when he was there. With the Samaritan woman, who was a woman, he was, she wasn't a man, a woman, a first evangelist to receive this prophecy. Hallelujah. Many Christian churches also have put women down. They have silenced women. They disallow women to ever speak and uh, testify in the church of the living God. Yet, the God of creation was talking to this woman. Hallelujah. You, Samaritans, worship on these mountains. Hallelujah. I have asked you to go get your husbands. And uh, you said you don't have no husbands, but I've told you, you've got five husbands. In other words, you have five gods that you are worshipping. And the one that you are with right now is not even your husband. That's what you are worshipping on these mountains. And we Jews go all the way to Jerusalem, to the temple, and worship our God. Hallelujah. But the time will come where you, Samaritans, will no more go up to those mountains. No more for us, the Jews, to go to Jerusalem. Those are only monumental, built by the hands of man, and uh, revered and uh, monumentalized and even worship the handiworks of man than the God who created all things. Because the hour cometh now is with the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Not in how... Uh, glamorous your temple how glamorous your cathedral how glamorous and expensive your church might be there's no life in it life is in you as our leader of our worship says that we were created in the image of God God breathed through the nostril of man and man became a living soul from dust to a living soul you are the living entity in relationship with God Almighty that's the real temple that's the real place for worship in you you don't have to travel the distance you are carrying it 
God is in you. You are housing God. You are accommodating God. You are instantly and uh, intimately worshiping your God. He is right there. Unless you push him out. Unless you reject him and neglect him and ignore and forsake him. Then you are on your own. Danger is to be on your own. Hallelujah. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Hence our theme, Jesus praises. us. You can't help it. This is the evidence. This is the sign that you have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If there's no vibrancy, if no enthusiasm, if there's no igniting, if there's no, hallelujah, movement, the Holy Ghost. God seeketh such to worship Him. Because only by the Holy Ghost and truth that you manifest and show for the power of God inside us revealed. God on the inside. How does the song say? Working on the outside. It works from inside on the outside. So the outside will show when the inside is working. Hallelujah. So be warned. If it's not showing, it's not there. Now point number one. What is God's name? We need to know. As the scripture says, for the Father seeketh such to worship. God is a spirit. But what is his name? The God of Israel was known and called by many titles and names, or as some would call it. Number one is Adonai. Adonai means Lord. My great God, El, the strong one, El Olihi, Elohi, Israel, God, the God of Israel, El Elyon, the God Most High, Elohim, the all powerful God, hallelujah, El Olam, the eternal, the everlasting God, El Roy, the God who sees me, El Shaddai, the all sufficient God Almighty, Emmanuel, God with us, Jehovah, I am the self existent one, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide, Jehovah Magadekshkim, the Lord who sacrifices Jehovah Nissi the Lord our banner Jehovah Rapha the Lord who heals Jehovah Rohi the Lord is our shepherd Jehovah Shabbat the Lord of hosts Jehovah Shalom the Lord is our peace Jehovah Shema the Lord our companion Jehovah Sitkenu the Lord our righteousness Yah or Jah meaning I am Yah Jah I am the one who is the self-existent Y-H-W-H Yahweh I am the one who is the self-existent one and the list goes on and on and on fellow audience on live stream at home and watching all these are but compounded names compounded names and attributes and characteristics of a one God we all believe in and worship all comes down to one God but obtaining and performing many different roles and offices and responsibilities I was once the time uh, uh, hallelujah a father I was an uncle I was a brother to my sister hallelujah and uh, went on and on then I was a husband and uh, hallelujah then I was a pastor an elder district elder suffragan bishop and now bishop and then uh, a new title diocesan hallelujah and now thank God for service to the community and uh, recognize uh, an OBE an officer uh, in the order of the British Empire so it, it goes on as you live on and, and deliver and distribute whatever gifts that God gives you you are all of that is compound in one there's only one name to take pity the father is in the bishop is in the diocese is in one name same with you you're a receptionist you're an economist you're a hallelujah a lawyer it's all compounded in one person the name is Peter Graham
You're not a three person, you're one. But you compound it with all kinds of gifts and talents. A man's gift, hallelujah, is made known by his calling. Hallelujah. It keeps escalating to the day you go down your grave and rest from your work. So, thank you, Jesus. Until Zechariah 49, a prophecy is declared. And the Lord Adonai, the Lord Elohim, the Lord Yeshua, the Lord Shammah, the Lord Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Not many kings, but one king over all the earth. Queen Elizabeth, King Charles will bow to that name. All our chiefs in the Cook Islands, the Matai in Samoa, and everywhere else will bow to that one king. The Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day there shall be one Lord and his name one. No more Jehovah, this Jehovah, that Jehovah, 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 Elohim, El, 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 Shabbat. No more. It's all compounded in one. We shall learn more about that later. Thank you, Jesus. We fast forward to Matthew 1, 21 and 23. And she shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. He will be a forgiver of sins. Only God forgives sins. How can this son born of Mary forgive the sins of humanity? Well, wait on a little bit more. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. This Elohim, El Elyon, El Olam, Jehovah, this Jehovah that, hallelujah, will become with man. He'll be dwelling with us. He'll be mingling with us. Hallelujah. He'll be sleeping. He'll be eating with humanity. Sinful humanity. He will no longer be exclusive. He'll make himself inclusive. Hallelujah. Then Colossians 2, 9 and 8. Very familiar scriptures all together. For in him dwelleth all of the good fullness of the Godhead. Bodily in him, that child born of the virgin, and to be named Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality. Philippians 2 9 11 comes with this. Wherefore, God also hath exalted him and given him a name, name, not attribute. Hallelujah, not roles and offices and titles, but a name, a real name like Tutaipere. Hallelujah. A name which is above every name. Oh, wait away. Woo. A name above all other names. Hallelujah. That of the name of Jesus. A name is given. At the name of Jesus. Meaning, he shall save his people from their sins. Savior. The saving name of God is Jesus. Every knee should. It didn't say shall or may. It says should. Bow down. All things in heaven. Whatever is there is we believe in heaven. We'll bow down to that name. Whatever we believe is in earth. We'll bow down to that one name. And under the earth. And every tongue. Every language and dialect. Known under heaven. Throughout the whole world. Should confess in Indian. Should confess in Chinese. Should confess in Korean. Should confess in Japanese. Should confess in Pukapukan. Should confess in Samoan. In Fijian. Filipino. That Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Jesus. In another word, God Almighty's kingdom and power and glory will only be revealed and seen in Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God because God is a spirit. But you need the Holy Ghost. 
and the truth to open your eyes for that scale to fall off your eyes like that of Saul to see Jesus and say Lord Jesus who art thou Lord who art thou Jesus said it is I Jesus hallelujah two and a half years in the wilderness in the Arabian desert he was taught of the Holy Ghost one name no more Jehovah for this Pharisee no more Jehovah for this uh, law keeper no more Jehovah for this Jew but it was all Jesus hallelujah Jesus in the morning Jesus at the noontime Jesus in the evening Jesus everywhere it was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Whatsoever you do in word and in deed, do all, do all in the name of Jesus. Dedicate the babies in the name of Jesus. Baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Build a house in the name of Jesus. Bless your car in the name of Jesus. Your job, your income, your elevation, your promotion in the name of Jesus. Everything in word and in deed. In the name of Jesus. That's the name of God. Hallelujah. That is the one Lord, one name of Almighty God. We come to question number two. What's the Spirit's name? John 5 43. I am come in my Father's name. Woo! I came in my Father's name. I didn't come in, in Joseph and Mary's name. I came in my Father's name. And you receive me not. You receive me not. If any other shall come in his name, him he shall receive. You receive John Williams. You receive Ellen White. You receive uh, John Knox and uh, uh, John Wesley. All those names and brand of denomination, you accept them and celebrate. Centennial, bicentennial, a trinuineal. Not Jesus. So the elevation was the history when it first came here. What about Pentecost? Where it was sent from to the other most parts of the earth. What's a worshiper's name? Revelation 19, 7 and 8. There it reads, Let us be glad. It is and rejoice. Are you rejoicing? You can't rejoice half asleep. You can't rejoice with your mouth shut. And rejoice. Give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb. Who's the Lamb? Jesus is come. And his wife, the church had made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints these are the worshipers these are right people righteous people holy people separated for jesus no more dangling in the world you are the worshiper so we tidy up our acts, we clean our acts and get out right with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Otherwise we are none of us without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Number seven, what must I do to be saved? John 3, 3 and 5. Except a man be born again cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit cannot enter. And in the book of Acts, it was reiterated. It was, uh, hallelujah, uh, ignited. Acts 2, 38 and 39, after they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And Peter said, repent of your sins and be baptized. Every one of you. Many churches don't baptize. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in the words of Jesus. They don't believe in the God of the Bible. They believe in their tradition. This is what my papa has passed on from them to me. My forefathers from them to me. Where's Jesus in that church? Flee. Run for your life. Hallelujah. Number eight. 
What's so special and unique about this name? Yeah, the poor pinga ete u mere mere matala wa yatu hoti engo. Acts four twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other. There is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. What's the saving name of God? Jesus. Hallelujah. We are, if we are the worshippers that God seeketh such to worship him, then we are a Jesus praises. Not a Jehovah praises. Not a Shalom praises. Not anything less than Jesus. Because only the Godhood nature in Jesus died for your sins, shed his blood, and rose again. And will come again. And his name is Jesus. No other name. Many are still praying in Jehovah. Like God never came in the flesh. No you're not wrong. Praying Jesus. 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 Everything we do. What they do all. In the name of Jesus. So we seem crazy. In the hearing. And the seeing. Of the world. Like it's blasphemous. We are denying the Father. We are denying the God of heaven. He is the Father. He is the Son. He is the Holy Ghost. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the ending. He is was and is and is to come. He is the root and offspring of David. He is the author finisher of your faith. Without whom we can do nothing. He is the I am, the true vine, the bread of life, the water of life, the light of the world. He is all in all, for in him Jesus dwelleth all of the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And he are complete, you're never complete, except you be in Jesus, repentant of your sins, baptized, buried, and rose again, filled with the Holy Ghost. Then you are in Jesus. You are sealed with a mark of ownership and personal p- 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 possession and property of God Almighty Jesus Christ by His Holy Ghost forever. That's why we are to keep stirring up the gift of the Holy Ghost at all time. So Jesus will be above everything. He might have the preeminence over everything else. Our plantation, our fishing, our jobs, our employment, our husbands and our wives and our families, whoever else, Jesus must be preeminent. Topmost priority. First word out of our mouth is we wake up. Last word when we go to sleep, thank you, Jesus. Wake up, Lord, I'm alive. Jesus, praise him. Turn to your ask your friend. Are you a Jesus praiser? Are you a Jesus prayer? Are you a Jesus praiser? 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 Are you a Jesus praiser?